So welcome to the M15. We're just going to start with some foundations. Ideally, just start on your roller first of all, the quads, the lats, and of course, the thoracic extension, especially if you've been sitting down all day. Right, let's get stuck into it straight away. I'm going to show you something a bit like different, an easier way to do the external arms rotator cuffs with less of a load. You see this? Yeah, so I've just got the band. I've just got my leg there. It's not a straight leg, a bend leg. So just keep your other leg over the top so it doesn't fling off in your face. All right, and just from here, we're externally rotating. Two, we do 15 of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The hands on top of the handles, Troy. Yep, elbows nice and still. Don't rush this. Have a look at my elbow position. Nice and square, right? Nice, slow and smooth. Four to go. Three. Two more. One. Rest. Okay, if you've got a light weight, turn over onto your stomach. We're going to do the supine external rotator cuff. If you've got a little small weight, great. If you don't, it doesn't matter, okay? So what we're gonna do here is just come down on your stomach. You want a 90 degree bend through here. Just pop your head on your other hand and externally rotate 20 of these. Two, make sure the shoulder drops down. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, shoulder down, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Good. Train sides, shoulder drops down. Make sure that hand is just above the head, right? Just above the head here. So you've got a nice square arm. How about 90 degrees? Shoulder drops down. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Shoulder down. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Good job. Okay. Now, grab your band again. We make it a little bit harder, right? This is a progression. So grab your band. We stand on it. Two ways you can do it. If it's too intense, you can come down a half lunge or even on your knees if you want, if your band is too strong. If you want to make it a bit stronger, elbows up here, 90 degrees. One. Two. Keep the belly in. Three. Controller. Four, don't rush it. Five, elbows shouldn't move. Look at my elbows, they're not moving at all. Just pivoting through that shoulder joint, right? Seven to go. Six, they should be burning. Five. Four. Three. Two more. One. And rest. Well done. Good job. Okay, shoulders should be nice and warmed up now, right? Come down on the knees. I just want to mobilize through that ankle. Let's first of all sit on the front of the feet. Feel that stretch through the front of the foot. 
if you do anything like running, cycling, or even standing on your feet all day, like the fronts of your feet get very overworked the muscles. So you want to create a bit of, um, of a stretch there and also create some like mobility. And start to lean back a little bit more as well. Feel it here in the quads. But poor engages, right? You don't want that back to arch too much. Too much pressure on the lumbar disc. Right, just breathing here. Keep the belly switched on. Just go back as far as your body will allow you. If you can't come back, that's fine. Just feel that stretch through the front of the feet. Okay, so we're going from here. Let's just bring your right leg forward in line. In line here, okay, like with your knee. Make sure your back foot is flat, right? And just from here, I just want you guys, actually, let's go here, hug in, right, and lean forward. Put that weight through here, so you're driving that weight over. You've got to keep the heel on the ground, right? So that's your mobility there. This one's a really good one. I really enjoy this one. Just got to keep that heel. Let's hold it for 20 seconds and release. We'll do two sets and then change. Just breathe. Put that way, all that way, forward, right, forward. Five seconds. Okay, release. Let's come back, sit back on the other foot. Do one more of these, 20 seconds. Hug it in. Sit. So you should feel it in your calf and also right in that front of that joint as well. Keep that heel down, okay? Breathe. Okay, good one. Sure, Lisa. Let's change. Sit on that foot here. Back foot, like I said. Flat on your toes, right? Hug it in. That way over the top of it. Yep. Good one. Nice. Really good one for the ankle joint. That's it. Keep that weight moving forward on it. Keep the heel down though. Three. Okay, release. Do one more. Sit back on the foot. And go forward here. Hug it in first. And we go forward. Yep. Hopefully you guys can all feel that, right? Yes? No? Yes? Okay. Good, good, good. Go a little bit more forward now. Right into it. Okay, good one. Come to straight plank position. Squeeze the legs out. Keep the head straight. Bring that left leg forward. Straighten the back leg and lift that chest up. If you can't bring your leg right out, up to your foot, right? You need to work on this foot. Straighten your back leg, straighten it. Straighten it, Mike. Now drop your hips down. Now drop your hips down with your back leg straight. Okay, change. Just up tall. Straighten that back leg, then drop the hips down. Breathing. Good. Let's see. Okay, just watch me closely here. Come back to plank. Left leg goes out. Straight leg out. And then just rotate the body. That's good for the ITB, the glute medius, and also through that QL as well. Getting a nice stretch through there. Okay, other side. Leg right out, then rotate the body. Sort of drop the hips down a little bit on this one. Yep. You feel it stretching all through that side body as well. So good. 
the chakra, four way foot stabilizer. Let's just switch on all them like muscles in the feet. So the hand on the hip, we do four rounds. One, two, three, curtsy bow, four. Perfect. One, two, three, four. Two more of these. One, toe just taps, doesn't plant. Two, three, four. Again, one, last one. Good, the knee should be stable. Two, three, and two, four. Okay, well done. Change sides, other leg. Make sure the foot is in a straight line. Core is going to stay engaged. I like to keep the hands on the hips because just a bit of proprioception of if your hips are staying stable or not. All right, that's the key here. It all starts at the hips. The hips aren't stable, the ankle's not going to be stable, the knee and the core is obviously not going to be functioning. So we've got to make sure that these hips right here, they're not side to side. Okay, they're nice and straight. Two more. Go on. Three. Four. One more round. Belly in. One. Two. Three. And four. So let's get the legs nice and wide here. Just from side to side, just feeling that stretch. All right, let's put this hand here, the opposite hand, just push into the IT band, side of your thigh. Right. We've all got super tight spots here. So just pushing in, just opening up those hips. Okay, just from here, turn that hip in. And open up that hand now. Yeah. All right, open up that hand now. Yeah. So just stretching through this side sling. Other side, turn the hip in. Now we try to open up that way. The hand, the other way, like. Right? Other hand, other hand, other hand. Yeah. So you roll that hip in, but you're trying to open it. Come on, guys. Beautiful. Okay, make sure you've got your straps already. We're going to go straight into it. So we've got endurance workout on the straps. I'm going to start with nice, easy, just a basic squat, okay? So just from here, just squatting for me. One, two, we're just going to do 20 of these. Three. Forward, not too fast, just nice and easy, just still warming up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, good, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good. Just a quick chest press. Just do one easy set, okay? Just make sure the fulcrum isn't too strong. All right, so you're not too low on this one. Just start nice and easy. Might want to bring your feet a little bit forward. Just 15 here. Breathe in, two, squeeze the quads, front of the legs, three, keep the belly drawn in, four, good, nice and slow down, that's a choice, doing well, five, good technique guys, six, slow into it, 
seven. Yeah. Mike, just watch your back arch you know, as you fall into it. Engage your core more. Squeeze the front of the legs and your glutes as well. All right, that is for everyone, all right? Core engages glutes and front of the legs. Set that body straight. Only place that you're pivoting is at your toes. Everything else should bend the arch or lean forward. Two more. Slow down. Last one. Right up. Turn around. Now we go, Rose. Slice the knees. Remember that last 25%. Bang. Squeeze there. Two. Three. Four. Five. Yep. Go on. Well. Six. Here we go. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, last one, and fifteen. Good job, guys. Well done. Have a quick breather. So the next one we're going to go into is the leg crank. Okay, so we've got... 12 squats, 24 step backs, 24 scissor jumps, and 12 jump squats. Great for endurance in the quads, right? After that, we're going to go hamstring curls. And then we're going to do single leg, okay? single leg squats. Just like one set of these. All right, are you ready for the squats? Yep. Yeah. Okay, it's just about to start the leg crank, okay, then? Here we go. One. Two, just sway. Three, four, five, music points. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, step back, lunge. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven. Keep it going. Eighteen, nineteen. Good. Bend that front knee. Twenty, twenty-one, and two. Three, three, four, scissor jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. Now jump squats. One, two, three, just squats for you. So five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well done. Okay, hamstring heels. You may need to adjust the straps. You want the bottom loop, the bottom loop at your mid calf. Okay, the bottom loop at your mid calf. Hamstring heels. Keep going. A second. Come on, Troy, quick. Let's go. Come on, Lynn. All right, here we go. Keep the belly in. Up. One. Hips up high. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Here we go. Come on, hips up. Forty. One more. Fifteen. Okay, great job. All 
All right, let's bring this in. Let's lock these in. All right, from here, what we've got is a single leg lunge. Just want to get a foot in the loop, right? Single leg. Be careful with your knee on this one, Sue. It might not be good for it. See how it goes. Okay, so we squat down. You can stop here and find your position. You might need to just hit the knee on the ground, then we come up. One, slow. Two, belly in. Three. Oh, slow down. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Here we go. Come on. Thirteen. Bring that knee right through. 14, last one. And 15. Good job, guys. Nice work. Change legs. Shop the leg around. Find your spot. Core engages. Slow down. Come through. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good work. Looking good. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, last one, and 15, good job. Untangle your straps. Let's start with the rows, first of all. That's ready. Up and squeeze that back. Make sure your legs a bit forward now, make it a little bit harder. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, shoulders down, twelve. 13, 14, four more, 15, back, chest press next, adjust your straps to knee, if you've been coming to the class for a long time, you should know where you need to set your straps, get that sweet spot right, that sweet spot for 15 reps, okay, ready, fall into it, breathing, exhale, up, remember, quads, glutes and core, Two, slow down. Three, good work. Come on. Four, breathe in. Five, nice and slow. Six, very good. Seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, one more, 15, okay, good job. Alrighty, from here what we're going to do, another set, but this is just a bit of a modified set, okay? So that we're only going to do two, we start off with a side lunge. Reach, one, two, three. We haven't got enough space, but everyone has. The weight is not on the back leg though. The weight's more on that front leg. 
Squat into it. Yes. Good job, guys. We'll get a little bit quick on this. We've got 24. 12. 13. Still bend the front leg. 40. 15. 16. 17. 18. 19. 20. 1. 2. And three, four. Okay, good job. Straight into the rows. Ready? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. My mistake. Jumping it down very good there. Hamstring curls, I meant. Hamstring curls. Feet are going. Hips up high. Let's go. 20 of these. One, two, three, hips up high, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, nine, come on, push this one, eight, don't swing it. Feel the hamstrings. Seven. Hips up. Six. Come on. Five. Four. Three. Two more. Rest. Okay. Good job, guys. Well done. Now we go to the rows. Here, here we go. One, breathe in. Two, three, four. Hey, there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll go twenty. Eleven. 12, squeeze in the back, come on. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, good job. Alrighty, chest press. This will be the last one, then I'm gonna hit the core, okay? Ready? Nice and stable here. Remember, quads, core, glutes, slow down. One, breathing. Two, three, slow down. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, keep it going, come on, nine, we've got 20 of these, push it, 10, slowly down, same tempo as me, don't go any quicker, 11, breathe in, 12, 13, 14, good technique guys. 15, five more. Four. Three. Two. One more. Okay, good job. Well done. All right, you just grab yourself a quick drink if you need it. What we've got coming up next is a couple sets of core. So if you've got a dumbbell, great. If you don't, it doesn't matter. So if you've got a heavy weight, just bring it close. Just come down on your back, first of all. This is 
pull in here to the lower back stretch, right? Just feel that stretch. Breathe into it. Okay, good one. Now, this first exercise is the cross crunch. So, the fist on the temple, right? It's never the hands behind the neck. The legs up to 90. We come up and across. One, this oblique here, squeezing. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, stay on the same side, 13, 14, one more, 15, straight to the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, come on, four to go, three, two more, one, rest, grab your weight, straight away guys, if you haven't got a weight, it's okay, you don't need it, oh, it's, it's good to have it, but you haven't got it, you haven't got it, uppers and lowers, crunch up, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifth down. All right, hands under the back here. Now, at your own progression, you need to do one leg alternating, or two legs up, like one leg down, alternating, two legs alternating, or if you're advanced, you can come here like with me. Troy, I just want you to start two legs at the bottom and bring like one leg up at a time. Troy, start two legs at the bottom and bring like one leg up. Other leg down, other leg up, other leg down, okay? Slow. If you've got to draw that belly button in, you've got to control it more. You've got to keep that hand pressure, get your hands under your back. You've got to feel that pressure and it's going to stay there. It should be coming on and off. I'm going to go five more of these. Four. Three. Two more. One. And rest. Okay, great job, guys. Okay, let's go straight into the second set, okay? So we go back, we do another set of those. Three exercises. Cross crunch, first of all. You ready? Here, up, cross. One. Two. Three. Yeah, this set's going to hurt. Four. Lock it out. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Come on. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. One more. Fifteen. Other side. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Come on, thirty. Push yourself. Forty. One more. Squeeze. 15, okay. Grab your weight. 
uppers and lowers next. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 10, 14, and 15. Okay, well done. Hands under the back. Just get ready for this. Get the legs up. Get the belly button in. Drawing in pressure on the hands the whole time. If your pressure comes off, degress it. Just go down and exercise. A level, I should say. Four, keep the pressure on. Five. Six, keep the belly in. Seven. Eight to go. Seven more. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two more. One. And rest. All right, well done. That's a great little core circuit, that one there. You're hitting those leaps, you're hitting the lowers, the uppers, and then you really, until that last one, you're really up hitting the lower abs as well. So it's a good um, little quick, and that was like really 10 minutes to a set, but two sets. Okay, guys, well, grab a drink. From here, we're going to go into some like restorations. Ideally, shoes and socks off for me. That would be good. So um, we're going to start with just some like basic stretches, some flow, and then we go into some deep stretching. Let's tonight, let's focus on the hamstrings and the lower back. Okay. Reason socks off, remember, if you can. Okay, just come down on the back. Go on to here, it's just the hamstrings. It's going to start off nice and easy. 10 seconds, drop down, change. Hold this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. One, change. One more in each. Pull that toe down towards you. And just try and straighten the leg out a bit more. Okay, last one. Okay, very good. Okay, let's come around. Starting just a basic child's pose with legs open here, just for the lower back. You're right, round the back, come on down, open up the fingertips, spread them, turn the elbows in, then just sit back on those heels. Big deep breaths in. Okay, let's pop up to the first downward dog. All right. So don't know what the other dog is just yet. Put the hips up high. And just push the heels into the ground. That's it, Troy. Troy, try to get your hips up a bit higher. Push your chest down more. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Put the hips up. Yeah, good one. Good one. Now push the heels down, guys. Hold this for a few minutes. Try and straighten our legs out. Feel that stretch through the back of the legs. And as you straighten your legs out, you feel that through your thoracic spine as well, right? Spine is going to be trying to change shape and straighten out that legs. Breathe. Hold it here.
Uh, what I want you to do is step your left leg forward. And we're going to come on a side here. Uh, so side here. I just want you to cross your elbows over and just hang your head down. You might be able to get your elbows on the ground. Just going to hang here for a bit. Three big deep breaths. It's good for the hamstrings, right? Just come up halfway lift. Yeah. Halfway lift. And just hang back down. Just creating space in the spine here. Breathe in, halfway lift. And back down again. Last one. Toe hang back down. You might notice the difference. It's like walk your feet out a bit more. Just hang that down, yeah? Like notice the difference in your hamstrings and your abductors as well. They're starting to let go, right? Okay, just place your hands on the mat now. Right, we're just going to go to one side. Yes, you don't have to go all the way down if you can't, as far as you can. Yep, straight leg and a bent leg. Yep, so I want you to bend like one knee, Troy. Come back to like the middle here. And then you go to the other side. You feel that. So you sort of turn your heel up on that straight leg. Turning that heel up. Back to the middle. And then the other side again. Let's get down a little bit deeper now. Should be able to go deeper. Breathe if you can't, it's okay. Just breathe into this. Big deep breaths, right? Let's come back, other side. So try and keep going there, don't give up. Come on down a little bit deeper here. Side. Last one here. Last one. Good job, guys. Very good. Here, just come back to like the middle, let's hang down again. So let that head go and let that back really round on the hips. Just holding that there. Okay, from here, grab the back of your ankle, right, and then grab again two heads and then drop the head down. Try to pull it towards the ankle. If both legs are still straight. This one is so good for the hamstrings, also the lower back as well. Start to get a bit of that Q wells, a bit of that lumbar erector in there as well. Breathe through it, big deep breaths. Pull in a bit harder. And release. And let's hit the other side. Notice one side tighter than the other, start to let go, if you can get the breathing right. Breathe. Breathe. a little bit more, two more breaths. Great job, guys. Let's just come around on all fours here. Come on all fours for me. Let's go through some cat cows. So round the back. And breathe in. Extending the back. I'm just going to take that pressure out there. Exhale. Breathe in. Yeah. 
tail. opening up these legs, right? And this one is like really good one for the lower back as well as the hamstrings, but we've done it before. So we just want to place out there, open up, reach over, and stretching through that side body. Yep. We're going to do a couple of sets of this. Yeah, very tight there, Thomas, hey? Breathe, breathe, just hold it, breathe. Try to turn this shoulder out as well, right? You don't want to roll in. Turn that shoulder out, Troy. Come on. That's the way, good one. Just breathe into it, trying to get a little deeper each breath. Two more breaths here. Breathe in. Exhale, okay, good one. Reach up. Reach up, reach up here, straight up, then over, right? Over, over, yep. So you want to feel this stretch through this side body here. Breathe for me. Breathe in. Ah. Release. Oh, wow. It's hard work, huh? Okay, drop here. Open your legs right up as far as you can. And we just reach out now. Just reach out in front of us. Just breathe in. How far can you go? Every exhale, get down a little bit further, right? Come on, two more breaths. I said the hamstrings in the lower back tonight, didn't I? So a lot of hamstrings adductors and a lot of that, those like muscles through those side bodies of the lower back. Okay, good one. Let's do one more set of that. And I want you to know, let's go a little bit further. Right, get a little bit further for me. Got about 20% more range of light motion in my second set. Right? Like you should have as well. Three. Very good. Good, Thomas. That's more movement there. I know it still hurts, but you've, you've got more range of motion there. Same with you, Troy. Good stuff, guys. Excellent. Turn that shoulder out. And tip over a little bit more. Can you almost touch your toe? Look how close I'm getting. And release. Oh. Whew. Spread the legs out. Other side again. Reach up, reach up, and then over we come. Breathe. Let's get down a little bit further. Turn the shoulder out. And release. Okay, so last one here in the middle. Open them up. And down we go forward. You should have a lot more range of motion here, right? More flexibility. Should have more range. Reach those hands out. Breathe into it. And release. 
Aries. Okay, nice work, guys. Very good. Just come on back. So we're going to happy baby here. Grab the outsides of the feet. Right. And just pull the hands down, opening up through the hips. And we can just go side to side here. This one's really good. Just feel that lower back. Feel the ground on your lower back as you roll side to side. And from here, straighten those legs out if you can. Straighten them out and hold your feet. Just move side to side again. Very good. Quick stretch with the glutes. So we're just going to come into this one, just cross the leg over, pull that knee in, and that elbow pushes out that leg on the other side. Breathe. Okay, other side. Release. Just walk your foot to the edge of the mat. You can't see me in the screen, you can see the mirror. Right, drop that knee in and just place the other leg over the top and then you're pushing that leg in. Right. This one's really good for the lower back as well. But what you're targeting is just through the piriformis, the external right hip rotators, also that sacroiliac that joint, really good to get any pain in your lower back. Okay, let's change sides, other side, walk the leg out to the outside of the mat, drop that hip in first, Troy. Drop the leg in. Drop this leg in, and then that goes on top. You push that leg, pushing it down. Yeah, that's the one. Great job, guys. Okay, just release that. Straighten your legs out. Just place your hands down by the side. We're just going to finish with a real quick like, meditation just to get you in a nice, relaxed state. Just to think about having a Beautiful night's sleep, okay? Come down on your back. If you can like dim your lights, great. Come on down on the back and let's just focus on the breathing. One hand on the diaphragm and one hand on the stomach. As you breathe in through the nose, the belly goes up and then exhale. Just so like notice that diaphragm should start to rise first of all. Yeah. Now put just one hand on your chest and one hand in the diaphragm. Breathe in. Again, it should be all diaphragm now, no chest. Keep that breathing going, just place the hands down the side. And just start to really relax the body. You know, just let everything go. You've done what you needed to do tonight. Just relax, focus on that breath. As you breathe in through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Let it go. Start to feel the relaxed state that you're in. Start to think about such a good night's sleep, right? Start to think about that you're going to have the best night's sleep ever. 
start to visualize that sleep that you're going to have. And start to picture that sleep all the way through from when the time you close your eyes at night, all the way through to when you wake up in the morning. And start to visualize that self, that time that you wake up in the morning, how much refreshed you feel, how invigorated you feel, and how like ready you feel to start the day. Start to see that lot like, happen every day. Every day you should be jumping out of bed with good energy, invigoration and motivation towards your day. Keep thinking about that, guys. Keep focus on the breathing. Keep your body nice and relaxed and still. The most important part of your night is like relaxing your body for sleep, right? Getting yourself set up like mentally, right? If you're not like mentally set before you go to bed, then you're not going to have that best sleep. Right, so the most important thing is to start to visualize that before you go to bed, like no phones, no TVs, right? no stresses. Any stresses that you've got on the body is going to stimulate your mind and start to release cortisol in the body, which we don't want. That's not going to give you a good sleep. You start to like disrupt your sleep-wake cycles. If uh, you read my book, you've seen the graph, the cortisol now, like the melatonin. So you want to really start to like, relax that body before bed. Thanks so much for joining me tonight, guys. Have a great night. Don't forget your five questions. Pop them in the group for me if you can. And I'll be seeing you very soon. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Ciao for now.